Welcome all. Myself, Prince Christopher. Today we have with us here Dr. Anuba Kaya, Principal of Bishop and Sia College of Nursing. Welcome you, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Prince. Ma'am, uh, Bishop and Sia College of Nursing was a part of this Swashraya project. Yes. What is Swashraya project? Actually, Swashraya project uh, is a women empowerment project which the college has taken up in collaboration with Community Radio Bensika and other agencies like Fisherman Community Development Program and Thira Desha Mahila Samajan uh, and also Kyolon Social Service Society which is an NGO. This project uh, we have taken up as a part of our social commitment as our college caters mainly to the needs of the coastal belt or the population of the coastal area. During our surveys, community surveys, as a part of the curriculum implementation, we have found that the women in the coastal belt needs knowledge and skill on home management of their own health. Because this coastal area, uh, actually the hospitals are situated little far away from the coastal area and they need to spend a lot of money to reach the hospital and also attaining health or health care from private hospitals in and around is a costly business. So we thought that empowering women uh, is a need of the hour, especially with regard to their own health care at home or taking care of the family members is a need. So this is how we came into this project Swastraya or self-reliant we may say. Uh, making the women self-reliant regarding their health care in their own home uh, as a privilege in the community. Okay ma'am. So women were the beneficiaries? Yes, it? women were the beneficiaries. So how, how were they selected? Actually, the College of Nursing has initiated a survey, need-based survey mm -hmm. in the uh, coastal belt called Palitota. Uh, the college is running our own health centre the community health centre in the area in collaboration with Bishop Enziger Hospital and the Fisherman Community Development Project. So uh, we have found that uh, the women in the area is lacking uh, the knowledge as well as skill regarding healthcare at home. So this is how we came to know that such a need exists in the area. Ma'am, how this Sorcerer project was conceptualized and implemented? This concept was presented to College of Nursing by the team of Community Radio Bensiga. Their plan was to conduct this program in an open learning platform or as an open learning course conducted through radio broadcast. The classes were planned by the faculty and student team of Bishop Bensiger College of Nursing as well as the practical sessions also. The classes such we have planned, it was broadcasted to the beneficiaries through community radio Bensiger. We, uh, we have got uh, I mean, uh, support from Koyron Social Service Society also, it's, a, it's an NGO for uh, conducting these classes. We have given hands-on training to the mothers in Koyron Social Service Society. Around uh, 73 classes were broadcasted and 10 hands-on uh, 10 hours were spent on hands-on training on various aspects of healthcare, uh, which included uh, like uh, checking or how to check the vital signs, how to check temperature, how to check pulse, how to check BP and also first aid management of emergencies at home or health emergencies at home. Also the sessions included nutrition, diet planning and uh, of course uh, uh, regarding environment, uh, how to safeguard the environment, how to prevent pollution, all these were included in the class sessions. All these uh, sessions were directly or indirectly promoting the health of the people and preventing illness in the community. So uh, these women have been registered through uh, Community Radio Bensiger which is announced through, uh, the program was announced through Community Radio Bensiger. Women got registered through that and later we have contacted the women and uh, the, the classes were conducted in that way. So we had both uh, the theory sessions 
which was uh, given in the open learning platform through Community Radio Benicida and also we had direct contact classes. Along with this, I would like to add that uh, the National Health Mission also was interested in uh, organizing this program. They have given advice to us in, in the organization of this program and also uh, they have a promise that in future they may be uh, giving support in continuation of this program. So what was this ultimate impact with this, with this project? Uh, first one was that um, making the women empowered related to the healthcare at home. Because women being the most important person in a family, they can, if they are having adequate knowledge and skill, they can take care of the minor ailments at home. They can even advise the family members regarding the health determinants, uh, as well as reducing the uh, cost of health care. That is one thing. Another thing, the uh, another important point I would like to note is that the college is a member of UN Academic Impact. So the, the program envisages that how the curriculum is getting translated into the community needs, especially based on the SDGs as envisaged by UN. So health and well-being is one of the SDGs. We could, uh, we could work in line with attainment of SDG, especially uh, health and well-being. So, uh, that was also addressed through this. Okay, Swashraya was a women empowerment project and it had its impact in the society. Mainly it helped them to empower with the uh, domiciliary kind of services which could be done at home. And even it has helped to bring, do uh, bring down the out-of-pocket health, health expenditures of these beneficiaries. Thank you. Thank you.